So I wanted to show you this case because all bite blocks are not created equally. This originally started off as a case we received like this, upper and lower models, 100% overclosed, biting up into the pallet, and the doctor wanted an immediate upper denture. These teeth were so wiggly, they're waving in the wind, they wouldn't even take a traditional impression with polyvinyl, the teeth would pull out. In our due diligence, we made a nice denture here. Lo and behold, it didn't fit. The bite was off, the cant was off. It's imperative to get accurate amular notches and size the papilla. These are accurate skeletal points to build a nice level plane of conclusion. We did not have that when we made the original immediate denture. Guess what this revealed? Completely off. Anyone can see that. This was a catastrophic failure of an immediate denture. First, always, always capture whether it's on this model or the before you make the denture or after capture the hamular notches and size of the pilla, then take these key pictures, which will tell us if we have a, a correct occlusal plane. This one shows us the occlusal plane. This one shows us what the existing occlusal plane is, retracted. This one shows Emma, the tooth display with lip at rest. And this shows how high the lip line will go with the big E. Whether you got teeth in place or a bite block, it's absolutely essential to take these pictures with the bite block in place also. And then you make your indication where the midline is. This incisal edge will show you where the incisal edge of the future teeth will be. And then of course mark your high lip line. This will dictate and show us how to get a perfect immediate denture every time. Now you might be wondering about the bite. Whenever you have patients with overclosed bites such as this, there is no way that just by taking a bite that this patient's going to open up in a, in a favorable manner. We need to realize that this has to go through an orthotic progression with an orthotic on the lower to actually decompress this jaw joint and get it in a healthier position. And that takes six to eight weeks. That's a phase one orthotic progression. So what we're asking dentists to do in these situations, if you're gonna do an immediate denture, make an ideal occlusal plane, then do a phonetic bite to the ideal plane and, and let's get this with an orthotic on the lower so that we can test drive and find out where this mandible is going to function optimally and sit on a healthy jaw joint. I know I gave you a lot of information there. This is not a straightforward case. We're having to optimize the Kuzu plane and establish a new VDO. That typically can't just be done with one new adventure.